Hey fellow tennis nerds, this video will deal with Stefanos Tsitsipas racket setup and style. Tsitsipas is arguably one of the most exciting players on the tour right now. His flamboyant and aggressive style has already won him a large fan following and he finished 2019 in style by winning the ATP Tour Finals. Tsitsipas has been using a Wilson blade with an 1820 string pattern for most of his tennis life. It's a racket that packs a nice combination of power and control. You can really hit, be precise with it, but you'd get some extra pop from more traditional frames. So it's a very suitable frame for an attacking player that needs that extra precision. What's nice to see about Stefano's style is that he takes pretty much every real chance to get into the net and finish the point. I think this sets him apart from the other next-gen players who are more reliant on rallying from the baseline. Sitsipas' current paint job is that of a Wilson Blade 98 version 7, a very nice racket, you can watch the review on this channel. The consensus among most tennis nerds is that it's using a Wilson Blade 98 1820 from 2013, the black and silver one. Pretty much everything points to that. I have heard people in racket circles say that he's using a slightly stiffer mold, a unique layup from the Wilson Pro Stock room called TP. No matter what, that will play very close to the 2013 Wilson Blade, which is one of the stiffest blades and the most powerful ones uh, so far. According to Miha Flisek of Impacting Tennis, you can check out his website, Sitsipas adds 10 grams of resin in the handle and his racket weighs 315.6 grams on strong, has a swing weight of 308 and a balance of 31.7 centimeters. When he adds a full bed of Luxelon 4G 1.25 millimeter gauge at 25 and 24 kilos, which is 55 and 53 pounds, the swing weight lands at 343. So not really an excessive swing weight for a pro player, but it helps him get some racket head speed and with the stiffness rating of his frame, which is 65 strong, he should be able to get some really good power and stability with this racket. The string setup with the stiff Luxelon 4G will give him excellent control, as we can really swing out an attack, but for most recreational players, this setup would be very stiff, but when you're a pro, you hit the sweet spot over and over with brilliant mechanics and technique, and you can value control more over comfort. So this racket setup gives him the power to attack, but the tight pattern and the string setup retains precision to paint the lines, stab a volley for a winner, as he has quite a powerful and flat forehand that he attacks with before he moves into the net. So this is what Sitzpa's father Apostolos says about his game, and especially the forehand. So I quote, because of his one-handed backhand, we definitely developed his game through his forehand. When you're small, like 11, 12, 13, 14, you compete, you're not strong, so often you build your game from the forehand side. That's my opinion, one of the secrets to build a great forehand from a young age. Usually the two-handers, when they're playing two-handed from a young age, they don't really pay so much attention to the forehand. So Stefanos, because he was single-handed, he was always building the point with the forehand, so it was really good for his development. Of course, now he's stronger, he can accelerate more and be faster, and that helps him now, and now it's really a weapon. He also said about his forehand grip um, being similar to the Potros. Generally, when you have a classic eastern forehand grip like Stefanos, his motion is closer to Del Potro, his grip is close to Del Potro, Del Potro has a massive forehand so it helps him because it is a much cleaner stroke. You don't have to think so much how to prepare, you just swing. It's a natural swing, when you let your arm swing naturally it creates beautiful mechanics. So that's very interesting, the take from Apostolos, Sitsipas' coach and father about his forehand and, and why he developed that and to become such a powerful weapon. So Sitsipas surely has the game to be a force in tennis for years to come. The question is of course if he can keep fulfilling his potential and I'm keen to hear your opinions here. Thanks for watching another Tennis Nerd Pro Player video. What player would you like to see next? Please comment below. Don't forget to check out TennisNerd.net where you can read the latest news and reviews of tennis gear. If you're not sure what racket to use, you can also purchase a racket recommendation where you will get a PDF file with thoughts around what setup would suit your game style. If you want more content, no ads, check out our Tennis Nerd Patreon page at patreon.com slash tennisnerd. Take care and don't forget to play some tennis.